You have to figure out as a person, as a business, how you communicate to the world. There are three ways, written word, audio, and video. Too many people are trying to do video when they're not capable of it. Too many people are not realizing written word is remarkable and they're getting caught up in pictures because Instagram's popping. So, the number one thing that would really matter to me as a data point is the following. I believe the more content that you put out, the more likely you'll be successful. I believe that you have to reverse engineer the end consumer. That you have to bring as much valuable content to them as possible. I think that you also need to eliminate friction between your message and the customer. What that means is you have to show up everywhere to the best of your ability in the way they want to consume it. Most entrepreneurs never win on social media because you're not focused. You post everywhere, every now and then, with content that is below what you're capable of making. Chances are you wouldn't even subscribe to you on your own channels if you weren't you. If you wouldn't subscribe to you, you can't expect others to subscribe to you either. We're gonna fix that in this video. So I make all my content for me. I want to spread more belief in myself and in doing that, I then share it with the world. And, and thankfully you guys watch it, you guys enjoy it, and I can build a business off of it. But even if nobody else liked it, I'd be making it just for myself so that I had the content because this is my own personal development, professional growth series. And so I love learning from Gary. I love being around Gary. I love being around Steve. And well, we don't have a lot of content on AP Janini, but I love, I love being around, you know, well, my parents don't have a YouTube channel either. Howard Schultz, Kanye West. I, lo I love being around more successful people, mission-driven entrepreneurs who are trying to make a change in the world. When I'm around it, it pulls me up. and makes me want to do bigger things. And so I'm inspired by my own content. When I'm, when I'm going to Instagram and I'm posting a story, part of my morning routine every morning is I post a story. If you see the black and white pictures, that's the current iteration right now. I'll take a picture of myself and I'll have a message on top of it. It'll say the day and then a message. That's a message for me. It's a message that I need to remind myself of. So just before doing the picture, I'll think, what do I need to do? It's not even about sharing. It's about what do I want for myself? What do I need to remind myself of today? Right? What do I need to remind myself of today so that I show up, that I step up, that I don't coast, that I don't just take it easy, that I live to my potential today, 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 right? Today matters. And so I'll, I'll make that message and share it. And then hopefully it touches and inspires other people as well. That's what's missing from so many people who are creating content. You're creating content that is one, way too self-promotional. You're creating content that it barely speaks to yourself. And you're just posting it and you feel crushed under the weight of having to manage all these different social media accounts and none of them doing well. And then you ask, why am I not growing? And why am I not getting followers? And why am I not getting the results that I need? So I'm a big believer in being able to have the accounts everywhere, but not actually being consistently posting everywhere. Cause I'd actually rather have you focus on one platform at a time, make it amazing, make it crush, start winning there before you expand and build a team and go to the other platforms. But at the core is you have to be posting content, whether it's videos, written, podcasts, right, audio, whatever the format is, you have to be posting content that you're proud of. You have to be posting content, just like any other product or service. If you're selling a product or service, you wanna be able to recommend it to your mom if she had that problem. If she needed your product or service, you would recommend it to her because you believe in it so much, right? You have to believe in what you're doing. You have to believe in what you're making. Not just because my one word is belief, but because it's actually important. So would you follow you? Are you proud of the work that you're putting up? Even though you know you're capable of more, yes, great, but are you proud of what you made? Is that the, was what you posted today the best, the best of what you could do right now given your current capabilities, resources, and skill set? Yes, awesome, keep going. No, work it, work harder today, show up. Okay, let's talk about it. How do you build on social? What's my three-step process? Let's dive in. Step number one is create accounts everywhere and listen. I want you to create an account on every platform. Create a Twitter, create a TikTok, create a YouTube, create a LinkedIn, create everything. Where, where a new platform pops up, create it. Especially if you have a competitive name, you wanna create it so that you can have, you have, you have congruency across your accounts. 
You know, Evan Carmichael isn't that common a name, but there's an Evan Carmichael uh, preacher in Hawaii who I pop in on his live streams every now and then. Uh, and, and when I like his content, his daughter thinks that, that he liked his own content, which is funny. But I'm, I'm Evan Carmichael and he's Evan dot Carmichael, right? And there's other Evan underscore Carmichaels. And I try to get Evan Carmichael everywhere, right? So I can own the name. So do that for you, for your, for your personal name or your brand name. Even if you never create content there, just so that you own the name in case you want to make content there, right? That's step one. A uh, part of that is then we're listening. So if you get tagged on Twitter, even though you might not have any content on Twitter, but if you get tagged, you can say thank you. Why I joined Twitter in the first place, Twitter at the beginning was people talking about their food and their pets, and I, I'm not gonna share that stuff. I don't care about that stuff. Um, but some people were then typing Evan Carmichael and were talking about me, and we're talking about my website, and we're talking about my videos, and I wasn't a part of the conversation. By listening, and listen, you're not gonna get that many notifications, right? It's not like people are talking about you every single day. You get an email notification that people talked about you and then you can go and respond and say thank you. So even if you never build your own Twitter audience, you have other people who are talking about you on Twitter. And if you just say thank you, you'll be one of the only people who ever even recognize their champions. Most people never even recognize, never say thank you, never give any kind of validation or acknowledgement. You're gonna be the person who does. It's not gonna take almost any of your time to do. And what does that do? It encourages them to share even more. So even if you never build up your Twitter platform, you've got other people who are active on Twitter sharing your message, promoting your brand. So you create your accounts everywhere, one just to own the name, and then you're listening, you're listening, you're listening, you're listening. If anybody mentions you, I'm not worried about posting content yet, we're just listening. If they mention you, you say thank you. Whether it's just a quick you know, message, whether you do a, a video, you just say thank you and recognize your champions. That's step one. Step two is you make your amazing 10 pack of content. So in my book, Built to Serve, if you don't have it, pick up Built to Serve, guys. It's a great book, you'll love it. Uh, I go through what I call the amazing 10 pack of content. And the idea here is it guides you step by step of how to tell your story. And the exercise are in the book, you can check it out. But basically think about your story, why you do what you do, some of your techniques that you've, you've used to help you get out of the hole that you used to be in, 10 pieces of amazing content that you're proud of. And that's it. So step two is all you're creating is 10 pieces of amazing content that act as a brochure. That if somebody happened to find your page, that if somebody is tagging you, or it's coming from a newsletter, or they find you from your website, that there's at least something on there and it's content that you're proud of. It's not an ongoing content strategy. It's not the, I'm trying to attract more people into my ecosystem, that people will discover me on Twitter or on Instagram or on YouTube. But if people do find me, my story is there. There's contacts for people to be able to learn about me and hopefully help spread my message. So all you do, that's your second step, is create your amazing 10 pack of content, and then you leave it. You create your picture, your bio, your 10 pieces of content, and then you don't touch the platform again, apart from listening to when people are talking about you. And then step number three is you're gonna pick one platform and match your skills to your audience. So what are you great at? What do you love doing? Do you love making videos? I love making videos. I love learning from videos. I love making videos. I started my channel 11 years ago because I wanted to have more visual content. I, love, I wanted to see videos of entrepreneurs and lessons from them. And there wasn't any of that content out there at the time. I don't use a podcast. I have a podcast with a friend of mine, Mark Drager. He runs the whole thing. I don't have my own podcast. People say, why don't you have your own podcast? Why don't you have the top tens as a podcast? Because I don't listen to podcasts. I, I'm not in the podcast world. I don't enjoy podcasts. I, I love that people learn from podcasts, but I'm not in that world. So I want to make more videos. It's a combination of what I love doing with where there's an audience. Pick that platform for you. The platform that you probably where you're spending the most time on anyway, where do you like spending most of your time? Are you on Twitter a lot? Are you on it as a consumer? Are you on Instagram a lot? Are you on Facebook? Are you on YouTube? Are you listening to podcasts? Like where are you consuming the most? And then turn that into a, being a creator and just focus on the one, like be a great YouTube creator, be a great Instagram creator, be a great Twitter creator. Just pick one that you already have familiar with the platform and be a creator there and start winning there and get results there. Make content there that you're proud of, that start feeding into your business so that you can afford to start hiring a team and scaling your company and then, then start playing on the other platforms. I think people just try to go too broad from the beginning, they try to be everywhere and then they end up posting garbage and they're not proud of themselves and they don't get any results. You're like, why am I getting results? Because you're posting stuff you're not proud of that you wouldn't subscribe to you. So use those three steps, right? Step one again, 
Get the accounts and listen for your champions and recognize and thank them. Set number two, which is make your amazing 10 pack of content on those platforms, picture bio, 10 pieces of content and stop. That's your brochure. And then step number three is figure out which platform you're going to go all in on based on your skill set matching to the audience and then dominate that, get some ROI, use it to build your business, hire the team to then expand to go off to the other platforms. Success, make it happen. Also, to make sure you're actually taking action after watching this video, I've designed a special free worksheet just for this video. The worksheet will highlight all of the lessons learned in this video, as well as pull out our three favorite learnings and quotes that will inspire you to actually do something. The worksheet will also give you space to write down what your key takeaways are and your specific plan of action to make sure you're getting results. If you want the worksheet designed specifically for this video, absolutely for free, there's a link in the description below. Go click on it and start building the momentum in your life and your business. I'll see you there. Evan, thank you so much for having a couple seconds and being able to tell the Believe Nation a little bit about Empathy Wines. It means a lot to me that you would take this valuable real estate and, and time on your channel to give me some love. It means a lot. It's just good karma points and so you're just, you're awesome, thank you. Believe Nation, uh, if you're into wine at all, go to empathywines.com. My whole career's work was poured into producing a wine that rivaled 40 to $60 wine for 20 bucks a bottle. Uh, I'm just super excited about this subscription-based wine business. You can order three, six, or 12 bottles in subscription form, rosé, white, red. Um, if, you, if you search on Instagram or, or Twitter, you will be blown away. People are literally like, I don't even like Gary Vee, but the wine's good. Super proud of the effort. Thanks, Evan, for the time. Uh, wishing you guys all happy and healthy. If you wanna see the last one-on-one -on -one I did with Gary Vaynerchuk, check out the video right there next to me. I think you'll love it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there. I'm talking about something that the world thinks is a contradiction. I don't understand why anybody should ever verbally dress down an employee.